And the government has banned fishing on Lake Nakuru after research by the Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute deemed the fish unfit for human consumption. According to the research, the fish rots within three hours, while consumers interviewed had complained of skin rashes after consuming the delicacy. Details of this and other stories in the county news briefs. The Ministry of Agriculture has asked Nakuru County government to move in and ban fishing in the lake whose water levels have been rising sharply in the last one year. Agriculture Chief Administrative Secretary Lina Chebi Kilimo says high pollution in the lake could have caused the current a crisis. county government of Nakuru to uh, uh, the public health department to also check into the fishing that we understand is taking place in Lake Nakuru because the water is in Lake Nakuru according to this report over here. Elsewhere, farmers living with disabilities in Wasin Gishu County have received some 250,000 shillings per group to help them build capacities in production and compete favorably at the international market. <laughs> Ndiyo sauti ya wakulima katika nchi yetu ipate kusikika kwa sababu wakulima ndiyo wameshikilia uchumi ya nchi yetu. In Narok County, over 4,000 youth turned up for community scout recruitment drive at the Olean Timama Stadium for a chance to work with the Kenya Wildlife Service. Uh, these are the persons who will be assisting in relaying and also disseminating information on human wildlife conflict. The exercise which is currently underway in other counties, also thousands of youth turned up for the opportunity in Taita Taveta County. We are going to take care of all the sub-counties in the county. Taita Taveta has four sub-counties and out of the four sub-counties, every county is going to get 20 slots from the allocated 80 slots. Finally, construction at the Nyaribo Airstrip VIP Lodge in Nyeri County is expected to be completed in July this year. Progress of the works is uh, quite good. Uh, it entails constructing a VIP launch. We have electrical works, uh, mechanical works, uh, and also works for stormwater uh, drainage. The national government project, which is being undertaken at a cost of 40 million shillings, is expected to boost aviation and hospitality in the region. For Channel 1 News, I'm Jacqueline Masharia.